Hi everybody, we're here to continue working on our Experience Builder site. If you do not know how to get to where I'm at, go back to the beginning of this playlist to be able to catch up. So since our last video, we have uploaded a hero image and I have my name and I went ahead and put in some text here. I changed the button. You can see I kind of personalized it the way I wanted to see it. This is something you could have done on your own. Let's talk about this top area up here. This is the header of the page. This little avatar right here is if somebody were to log in, they would use that as a user profile menu. There is a notification bell. It's very similar to when you have a cell phone and you get notifications. There is a search bar. We also have this theme navigation menu, and this is the logo. This is the Jepson theme. That is what it comes with. If I go to theme and I go to images, this is where this is populated. I could clear that if I had another image that I wanted to put in there. For instance, the Salesforce logo, maybe you have a personal logo, but for a portfolio, I generally clear that. If I click in the top header area, you can see on the right side, my component uh, opened up to allow me to change that. I could put another image here. You could leave this blank and put an image here. I typically leave this blank. If you do put an image, you have some other options here. There are other options here. This is, if you look right here, it says link active border color. And that is over here in this menu underneath the home. You can see the color that's going to be under there. And again, these are all things I want you to play with to see what you like. We can look at drop down menus and there are more color options, but I wanted to show you layout. Here's some things that I like to play around with in here. The header height, if you had opted to put an image there and you wanted to make it thicker, I don't really want my header height to be bigger. So we'll just leave it there. The logo width, this is when I had the logo up there, I could have done that. I'm gonna remove the search bar. I could show the app launcher. If I hit that button, then right here, that waffle menu shows up. They have no need for that. We're going to take that off. I'm going to take off show notifications at the notification bell. They're not going to get notifications on a public experience cloud portfolio and profile menu. I'm going to remove that. Now logo, I had an option. If I left it there, I could click center logo and you would see it move up here towards the center and it moves things around. If you do use a logo, try that. If you center your logo like that, use slide out navigation, which changes the way my navigation looks and you have a hamburger menu here where everything would slide out. I'm not going to do that. And then it says display navigation on the left. It is currently checked. If I let go of that or undo that, it moves it to the right. You'd have to play with those options. The search component, if you left it up there for a client, you have a global search you can do. The user profile, you could customize it a little bit more, but again, for an experienced cloud portfolio, you wouldn't do that. You have a couple options down here. Generally, I'm going to leave those alone and I want to show you how to create a menu. I will scroll up and close this. That's the compact header. I've cleared everything off because I'm using it as a portfolio. The compact headers in the way, but I'm going to click on theme. And this is going to control what is happening at the top of the page. I can say how many items I want to display. I'm just going to put it at six. I can align it. I tend to like them align center like this. Within that, you can also do uniform where it spreads them out. You could do justified where it's on one side and the other. But I'm going to use the center. You do have a few other options here. We can edit the default navigation. There are two ways to do that. If I click on that right now, it's just going to take me into what is up there. Sometimes I'm working in different parts of site and I want to edit the navigation so I can go over here to settings on the left, click that and go down to navigation. And because I already know it's the default navigation, but if I were going to edit it right now, it says home because that is standard and topics. It looks like it's taking me to a topic page, which has not been set up.
Let's see how we can adjust this. The first thing I want to do is the top left where it says home. If I click here, these are all the pages that are included with my out of the box experience cloud site. I'm going to add a page. I want to make my own page. I'm going to click new page. This is not going to be connected to any object. I am not exposing accounts or contacts. That would be for a more advanced video, but this is just experience cloud portfolio. Click standard page. I always choose flexible layout. I know that it is tempting. There's these other layouts here to choose, but you get trapped into something when you do that. So I try to do flexible. Uh, I want to make a my experiences page. Okay. So it's going to fill in the URL. It'll take care of the API name. I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to hit create. As you can see, it's thinking up here in the top left. This is the name of the page I just created. I am here on a flexible layout. There is a section. Right now, I'm going to just do something simple. I'm going to go to my components and I'm going to grab the rich content editor. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to hit edit content. And it's going to give me these options and I'm just going to put some content in here. This is my experiences. I'm going to set this here and I'm going to resize it so I can make it bigger. We're going to highlight that. I want to make it bold. I want the font big and just center it. And maybe I'll just make it a color for now. I have this on this page. I haven't done anything more and we're not going to talk about doing anything more yet. I'm going to go back to my home page. There's two ways I can scroll up over here and hit home. Or what I like to do is click preview and click the home tab. It's a lot faster. I'm going to hit back to builder and I want to go back to this navigation menu. Remember we can either go here into the settings or here. I'm just going to click it here and it, I'm going to edit that default navigation. I'm going to take this topics page off because I don't have it set up and I'm going to hit add menu items. I'm just going to label it or my experience. I want to send it to a site page because I just created that. I called it my experiences. I'm going to make it publicly available because this will be a portfolio. So that's there. I like everything there. So now I have home and experience. Save. Now what's happened is we have a home page and my experience. If I were to preview it, like somebody coming to my page and I click on my experience, it took me to the page I just created. Then I can work on this page. Let's go back to the home page, back to the builder. Let's create another page. We're going to call it a standard page. I want to make it flexible. You could put a project page, things that you have done. I'm going to hit create. I'm at the project page, but I'm not ready to create it. So I'm going to go back to the home page. Back here in the home page, go back to the builder. Let's add to my menu. I created another site page. We'll say we called it my projects. Since we said my experience, go to a site page make it publicly available and pick the site page, which we called project. And we're going to hit save. That's how you create a navigation menu.